Hello guys and welcome to another video. And in this one we're going to be talking about something very different. We're going to be talking a bit about Pinnacle Atlas bosses. So why am I talking about this? Well, you may have noticed that we haven't had any new Atlas bosses added to the game in quite a while. And that's because the release cadence of Atlas expansions did have a reliable pattern. They did have, at least. This has been the case ever since the Conquerors of the Atlas expansion, which introduced the Hunter, Redeemer, Crusader and Warlord Conqueror bosses, as well as the Awakener of Worlds to the Atlas endgame. Along with huge changes to the Atlas map progression, including the introduction of Watchstones to modify Atlas regions. This update was introduced to the game alongside Metamorph League in patch 3.9. Then, every four leagues following 3.9 would include a massive Atlas expansion alongside its league release. 3.13 brought the Echoes of the Atlas expansion alongside Ritual League. This Atlas expansion introduced the Maven as a new pinnacle boss, along with the Maven invitations and all of the Maven's crucible encounters, and the first iteration of the Atlas skill tree. Then, four leagues went by again, and the Siege of the Atlas expansion was released in patch 3.17, alongside the Arch Nemesis League. This was the largest Atlas expansion to date. It introduced four new Atlas bosses, including two Pinnacle bosses, the Eater of Worlds and the Searing Exarch, and their sub-bosses, the Infinite Hunger and the Black Star. The small Atlas passive tree that was introduced in 3.13 was replaced with a gigantic Atlas passive tree, allowing players to pursue any type of content that they liked in the endgame. A brand new gear influence system with all new currency types was introduced, and a new Atlas of Worlds with a reworked progression system, including Voidstones. Then, four leagues went by again, and... Crucible League. 3.21 didn't include an Atlas expansion. Why? Well, let's take a look. But before that, if you're enjoying the content that I've been putting out recently, please do like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And a huge shout out to my current channel members. If you'd like to support the channel, find out more by clicking the join button below the video. Thanks for your continued support, and let's get back to it. So why didn't patch 3.21 introduce a new Atlas expansion alongside the Crucible League? Well, the answer almost definitely lies within ExileCon. You see, it's very likely that GGG wanted to hold off on the Atlas expansion so they could hype it up at ExileCon, just like they did at the 2019 ExileCon with the Conquerors of the Atlas expansion. Therefore, I'd say it's quite likely that the 3.22 League will come alongside a massive Atlas expansion, which will add new pinnacle bosses and change or build on a lot of its endgame systems. That's what GGG's forum post was alluding to when they said you'll be wanting to play 3.22. Many thought this might mean that Path of Exile 2 or its beta was getting a secret launch in this League slot, but being realistic, this was very wishful thinking. But why didn't ExileCon happen before Crucible League? Well, GGG are trying to balance the tightrope between the release cadence of the current game and the marketing for Path of Exile 2. Only they know how far along the development of Path of Exile 2 actually is, so their timing of ExileCon is very specific. They're ready to show it off now, but they may not have been ready to show it off four or five months ago. And so, what can we expect from an Atlas expansion in patch 3.22? Well, I'm sure GGG will find a way to make the Atlas passive tree even more impressive somehow, and we may see another overhaul to the progression of the Atlas of Worlds, or just some new additions that build on what we already have. But one thing that we may have a good idea on is the new Atlas bosses, because the bosses always follow the theme of the core supporter packs, this was true for the 2020 core supporter packs, which each followed their respective conqueror, with the top tier pack, the Orion supporter, being based around Cirrus, the Awakener of Worlds. Then, the 2021 core supporter packs that were introduced prior to the release of the Echoes of the Atlas expansion, followed the theme of previous League content, 
but the top tier pack, the Atlas Supporter, was heavily Maven themed, and these packs were released for purchase an entire month before patch 3.13 was launched. Then, the last set of core supporter packs we had before the ones we have now, the 2022 core supporter packs, which were released in December of 2021, were also based around those new Atlas bosses which would be added 5 weeks later in the Siege of the Atlas expansion. The Nullifier supporter based on the Infinite Hunger, the Annihilator supporter based on the Black Star, the Ravager based on the Eater of Worlds, and the top tier pack, the Incinerator, based on the Searing Exarch. So it's very likely that the current supporter packs are a window into the future for the new Atlas bosses we may be fighting in 3.22 right after ExileCon. And any one of these, or all of these packs, could represent a new boss. Are these more eldritch entities that our exiles will need to put down? Or are they something else entirely? I'll let you do the speculation on that. But I really do believe that not only is 3.22 going to be a huge league for Path of Exile, with it following ExileCon, I'm sure GGG will have plenty of surprises up their sleeves but I also think it's going to introduce a massive Atlas expansion to the game as well. And this is also likely to be the final Atlas expansion before Path of Exile 2, which could mean we'll be getting some hints as to the direction we're going in for the next chapter of the game. Let me know what you guys think about this by commenting below. Do you think 3.22 will include an Atlas expansion? And what about those bosses? I'm not a big lore guy, so maybe someone else can speculate on those. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned and stay safe.